Paul Engelke is a 40-year-old installer for Bell Telephone. Coincidentally, his hobby is collecting old phones and phone-related items. Since 1962, when Paul first got turned on by an old phone, he and his wife, Punkin, and their children, who have taken to the hobby as well, have amassed a collection that would make the Smithsonian Institute envious. One of the newer items in the Engelke family room is this 1928 round-based phone, the first time a receiver and transmitter were put into the handset. How many of you remember the first candlestick telephone with a dial? This one was made back in 1903. One of the oldest Engelke possessions is this tapered candlestick phone made in the late 1800s. The so-called related items, all produced by Bell Telephone or Western Electric, have a prominent place here, too. Back in the days when there was frequently more than one phone company in a town, Bell Tell engaged in lots of name brand advertising. It gave away postcards, paperweights, watch fobs, even hand mirrors with catchy little phrases aimed at getting the phone user to use the Bell. Engelke is one of the top collectors of Western Electric items in the country. How many of your friends have a personal Red Cross glass mouthpiece used years ago to prevent the spread of disease? The cream of the Engelke collection, though, are the signs, the old-fashioned blue and white porcelain relics. Engelke has them all, and some of them are pretty rare. While we've been in various antique shops, we've made some of our best finds right here in Miami. But we do uh, visit antique shops all over the country, junk shops. We travel in dungarees and we just go scrounging through the dirtiest places you can ever imagine. You pattern your vacations around getting phones? Absolutely. Every one of our signs come from a different part of the country and the children were all with us and they found them just like we did and they'd beat on the windows and say, stop daddy, there's one, there's one, and it just was fun for all of us. We, we just enjoy the, the beauty of refinishing them. We try to buy the ones that are that either can be restored or that have very good wood and their condition is very good because the restoring them to their natural state means a lot to us and we really enjoy the feel of them and everything to do with them. This collection, in case you're interested, is not for sale. The Engelkeys would consider trading, but they drive a very hard bargain. Bob Mayer, Channel 4 News.